Um, so the next upload that I want to share for the 26th of the 11th, um, 2019, is with regard to the issue of identity theft. Um, basically, since 2015, and in particular in 2016, um, I experienced um, the offence of inviability of my dwellings. Now, I've mentioned already about um, aspects of identity theft that have occurred, about my uh, dwellings being trespassed, my information being stolen and my belongings being stolen. Um, the disturbing aspect of all of this is that the individuals um, during a period of 2016 um, viola not only violated my uh, dwellings, but also my personal information and um, private information. Um, there's been journals of mine stolen. Um, there's been creative ideas uh, and project work and studies and research uh, that I conducted since 2006 um, stolen. Um, but also the personal information um, that was violated by a collective group of culprits that um, basically um, violated not only the uh, private information of my past and of my, you know, where I travelled, who I had met, um, where I had been. Not only did they violate that information, but then had the audacity to uh, decide um, to collect and gather a few fanciful stories um, and collection of tall tales um, and shared uh, information of my involvement with uh, people I had met on my journeys and in my um, education um, experiences and whatnot. So that's been one um, serious um, violation of privacy. Um, the defamation of the stories collected aren't all that accurate. Um, as well as that, there's been publications uh, in 2017 cleverly referring to me as her or it and she. Uh, this has been widely known. Um, and is also another assault of my character and reputation. Um, during the spiritual violations that I experienced, particularly in 2017, there were people claiming and declaring that they knew the secrets and answers to all of our questions and problems and issues. Um, this is just an issue of the exploitation that has occurred from the spiritual violations and the spiritual light theft of my spiritual light body. Um, also, um, and this is history repeating itself really when you think of what happened with revenge porn over a decade ago, um, to have collected inaccurate and defamatory stories about me, um, to have violated my privacy and perpetrated identity theft, to have published um, a forum uh, cleverly referring to me as her or it and she um, and discussing my privacy and private life um, violating my home dwellings um, the intrusion and violations of privacy have been absolutely frightening and authorities that are fully aware of the violations of privacy and identity theft and the false information being presented about me without even ever consulting me to even question or query the accuracy of what has been said or claimed even just shows how um, negligent their practices are um, in all of this matter. The um, injustice I'm experiencing is, as I've already stated in previous uploads, for obvious reasons. Um, I've been impoverished financially. Um, I'm a teacher. 
I should be working, I want to be working, but I'm also experiencing medical negligence, experiencing physical ailments that have been untreated. And um, unfortunately, uh, the legal rights and entitlements that I should be receiving have been obstructed and perverted. Um, so the 29 human rights violations that have involved identity theft, that have involved defamation, and that have you know incurred injustice, um, is absolutely horrendous for this town and county and country to be experiencing. And the culprits, um, the social influencers, as I tend to call them, have um, influenced society in a very negative way. Um, as a graduate of culture and sociology and media and literature, um, I, as a sociologist or cultural studies uh, graduate, um, would think we all have an obligation to present the truth. From a spiritual perspective, as a light worker, I speak the truth. Um, so the happenings and events since I've been married and since I've given birth um, is only embarrassing this country. So I really think that the politicians and the authorities have no defence in perpetrating the injustice and wrongdoings that I'm experiencing. Um, there's no justice in this situation for me, even though I'm the victim. Um, and that's, that's, that's horrendous. Um, as well as that, um, authorities and pol politicians um, aren't to defend the indefensible. There isn't any defence in um, ridiculing or defaming an innocent person. There isn't any defence or justifiable reason for impoverishing a qualified professional, fully capable and competent, of, um, you know, brilliant positions and employment roles that I've been deprived of and um, undermined um, due to other people's jealousy or, you know, greed or their issues, you know, of competition and whatnot. There's enough for everybody in the world. There's enough money in the world. There are enough opportunities in the world. There's all, you know, and the level of discrimination and defamation that I've experienced because people are trying to confine, restrict and um, gain their own notoriety for the most negative ways or reasons, I must add. It's not a positive notoriety because um, this kind of a situation is quite sickening in society, especially modern society, especially um, women um, that would be involved in facilitating this kind of um, injustice. So um, the people that have stolen my opportunities, that have damaged my livelihood, that have stolen my wealth from me, because I've experienced financial theft as well, and the people that have defamed my character and obstructed justice, um, have done an awful disservice to my hometown, Tralee County Kerry, um, and to this country that I love so much. Um, as I've said, um, I've represented my country abroad. Um, I've been an ambassador for this country, and, and in a humanitarian capacity, and to be experiencing this kind of mistreatment um, is just absolutely horrendous. It's the only word to describe it. Um, it's petty, it's pathetic, it's juvenile, and it's immature. And um, for women that are supposed to be considering equal rights, and for gentlemen to be um, so discourteous um, and disrespectful um, to a woman that has worked since I was 14 years of age and contributed in a voluntary capacity to community without causing any criminal offences, without violating anyone else's uh, rights or, you know, is just very worrying that there hasn't been any acknowledgement from, I've sent over hundreds of emails 
to civil liberty agencies, politicians, authorities since these violations and wrongdoings commenced and for there not to be even a shred of acknowledgement is just completely discourteous and completely inconsiderate for a woman, mother and deserted wife in my position to be experiencing this kind of um, it's, it's horrendous so um, I'm wondering is there any conscience is there any um, moral code at all at all because um, as I've said I've provided positive contributions in society um, and that hasn't been acknowledged so um, blessings in disguise um, are you know, always prevalent, and uh, we all receive blessings in disguise. And you know, um, as regards the criticisms that I'm sharing, um, I'm not criticizing all of society, just the culprits that are involved in the violations and wrongdoings that are unjustifiable. Um, so, blessings in disguise to all the people with humane and conscientious morals of integrity and respect for all human beings.